Good evening, Laker fans, and a special welcome to our friends from visiting Ledgemont High School. My name is Todd Losey, and I am a 1982 graduate and former member of PV Jazz. As many of you may know, on July 7th, we lost a dear member of the Laker family, former PV music instructor Paul McCarty. Paul was a fixture here at PV for 30 years, and his influences will be remembered here for many years to come. For many of us, Paul was more than a teacher. He was a friend and a confidant. I wish I had the time to tell you all the stories that I thought of as I prepared this. Uh, my first memory of Paul is the day that he started to influence me. Uh, as a seventh grade trumpet student, I had walked in for my, my uh, individual lesson and he was in with a friend who was back here tonight listening to a Maynard Ferguson album. And that day I became a fan of jazz and Maynard uh, has been an a idol of mine for years. So since the very first day that I had met Paul that I can remember Paul, he became, uh, began to influence me. I always felt I had a very special relationship with Paul. After high school, when our student-teacher relationship ended and our true friendship began, like many of the musicians from my era, a lot of us came back and continued to play with PV Jazz or simply to play the fight song and trumpet cheers at home football games. I think it was because it was something that we all enjoyed so much, but also because we were always welcome to come back and share with our love of music and to participate with the band. I was invited several summers to travel with Paul and his family, with Tammy and Heather, to Florida, South Carolina, and on weekend trips all over Pennsylvania. I remember a lot of beautiful sunny days that Paul would call in sick and we would golf. We called it the 36-hole flu. We always left town so he wouldn't be seen by other faculty members and administration people. But invariably, we always ended up coming home through Conneaut Lake past former principal Jim Garland's house. A lot of nights, Jim would just be getting home out of his van and we'd honk and wave and we'd go, evening, James. And we just always had a lot of fun uh, out golfing. Uh, he always made me feel part of his family, and like his office here at school, his door was always open to me and I know to a lot of other, other students. It wasn't until after his passing this summer that I realized that I was really no different than any other student that walked these halls. And as this re realization reminds me to this day of the influence Paul has had on me, my love of music, my humor, and who I've become as a person, and what I still want to become in my life. As my friends Denise, Diane, Kevin, and Lori gathered after services celebrating Paul's life and after Lori's idea to host a tribute to him, that I really begin to realize how special a man Paul was. While talking after the services and later as our organization started for tonight, the students and parents that responded through conversations, emails, or through our tribute page on Facebook surprised me, not because of the number of responses, but the sheer quality of the relationships that Paul had with so many people that I was really unaware of. These heartfelt stories uh, were all passed through from students that were in PV jazz, drama, just students that he had become friends who would counsel, who would just listen without any fear of being exposed to their friends or anyone else. And Paul was truly a confidant in that way. He was a true friend, and if this is the point I've been speaking towards tonight, since his passing, as Lori and I have been organizing, talking, and meeting, we have all been reconnecting with friends from years ago. And I have come to realize that the friendships that I have, like the one I had with Paul, are to be cherished. And he was taken from us way too soon. So I'd like you all to take the time to call an old friend, 
to reconnect, give them a hug, and let them know how special they are because the only true thing that we have left to choose in our lives are our friends. And I'm glad that Paul chose me. Thank you for being here tonight. Special thanks to musical director Pam Amy, and to Mel Nowakowski, the athletic director here at PV, to Donnie McCormick from the Star Beacon, and Scott Wadega for getting the music out to everybody. Ladies of the United States, uh, United Methodist Church. I knew I was going to say United States. I knew it. I said it for two weeks. Ladies of the Methodist Church who provided cookies and refreshments for us. And uh, to anyone else that helped make tonight possible to tr uh, hold tribute to our friend Paul. And now I'd like to ask you all to join us, sing along with the band accompanied with former members of PB Jazz from the graduation classes back to, I believe, 1980, as we do one of Paul's favorites, Hey Jude. And tonight, I'm told, is the first night that Scotty, Robbie, and Katie Wodega have ever performed together. <laughs> so please join us in Hey Jude. Thank you, and God bless. <laughs> <laughs> 